Okay, so COVID happens. Right. PWHPA, they, I wish they would have picked a different acronym. Yeah, it's not easy for anyone. I don't right. think I've ever said it Any, without yeah, pausing. Everyone screws it up usually. And you said it right, so that's mm-hmm. good. Yeah. Was it hard though? Like you, were you the last championship that was in the CWHL or was 2019 the last one? Oh shoot. I don't even know. Uh, I think there was one afterwards. One more? Yeah. Um, but yeah, that whole thing was hard. It was just hard because it came out so abruptly. Right. Like even to us, like I think people think we had an idea before it was going to happen. Mm-hmm. And we hadn't really like, maybe there was a couple people who did and I was just like young and naive. I had no clue. Yeah. But, like, I just remember walking in the dressing room one day and then, like, and I was just like, wait, what? Mm-hmm. Like, so we don't have a place to play in Canada? Oh, my God. Like, what do you mean? Like, how right. is that possible? Like, hockey is Canada's game and you're yeah. just going like, to cancel pro women's hockey. Um, so it was wild to go through. And then I just remember that, like, everyone immediately stood together and were mm-hmm. like, there's no way. Like, we're going to figure something out. But the thing was is people knew that even when we were playing, like, that set up we deserved so much better like than what we were getting and like how we were getting showcased so then it was like almost like okay like how do we use this and Mm -hmm. how do we create this platform and like create awareness and I guess that's when the PWHPA and the tour was launched Mm -hmm. and like we thought of that idea which was really the players coming together and like getting people to come in to positions that we needed you Mm -hmm. know what I mean which Mm -hmm. is crazy but that was it was a wild time I want to walk through that because I feel like it's actually a very important time in like women's sport that we're yeah. going to look back on and be like that, like change the course. So I want to, for people that maybe don't know, like really emphasize. So were you part of, like I read a lot online, but mm-hmm. I mean, I'm sure a lot of it is people that don't actually know what they're talking about. Yeah. So correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. But like, were you part of that initial like 200 and some players that were like, we're not playing under the existing conditions. We're not going to the NWHL or, you know what I mean? Or like, yeah. now this league is folded, but it wasn't great to begin with. And like, yeah. we're joining this union yeah. to like set standards. Like, were you a part of that original yeah. Um, group? Yeah, that was like the original, I guess, group from the CWHL there. And yeah, I was. So I think that, yeah, it was crazy. It was just like, we all stood together. Mm-hmm. Um, I definitely wasn't like leading the charge. I wasn't one of the, I feel like the older girls were doing that. Um, but yeah, no, I was one of those people who signed that document, and wow. um, yeah, it was crazy. I I think I just remember that sh- first showcase. Um, it was in Toronto, and the stands were like full. Yeah, and wow. that might actually I think that picture is from it. Yeah, and I just remember like almost having tears in my eyes mm-hmm. because you just went through this roller coaster this summer, and then all of a sudden you were finally like stepping on, no, like good tears. I was stepping mm-hmm. on the ice, and there was these little girls out there with us, and like yeah. the stands were full, and it was just like, okay, we're doing the right thing. Mm-hmm. We should be standing up for this. Mm-hmm. And like people are behind us. Mm-hmm. And maybe it was for the best because now like so much, like, you know, so much good has like come out of yeah. just like the attention, I think, in general. So yeah, it was, it was like terrible a roller coaster but also like really great i think what we came together and did Mm -hmm. at the end of the day so at that time when you guys were like organizing and kind of figuring out what you wanted to do and what you wanted to accomplish like did you think did you think you would be able to have the ripple effect of now things being so much better um so quickly we set our goals high i will say that um i think that we honestly, like, I mean, that's what athletes do, though. Totally. <laughs> <You know? laughs> we we think we can change the world. So, mm-hmm. I mean, we did. Honestly, we, did. It, we really, like, that was the goal. Yeah. Like, it's always been the goal. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it was to create that ripple effect and create awareness and just, like, bring the game up. Yeah. Like, the female game, we just wanted eyes. Mm-hmm. And, like, we knew that if we got those eyes, it would grow itself almost. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I think that there was definitely big, like a big mission behind it. It wasn't just, we're going to come together and play some games. Mm -hmm. It was, we're going to go do this. We're going to make this happen for the game and for females and for the next generation. And to be honest, even for myself, I feel like at that point, like that's when there was a shift that happened in me. Cause I feel like I was playing and I wanted to play pro Mm -hmm. and like, you kind of like coming out of college, you want to do that and like be a good player and all this. And then it was like, at that point, I was kind of just like, wait, this is not really about me anymore. Like, this is about that next generation. This is about making a difference. This is about making an impact on it on 
everyone who's viewing this. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I think it shifted actually for a lot of us, I, th I would say at that point where it was just like that mission statement or like that mission was ingrained in us. And I feel like if it wasn't, you just would have given it up because yeah. that first year was not easy, mm -hmm. you know, for anyone. Um, even the CWHL was not easy, but for sure, I think. Yeah. And it worked. It worked. Yeah. I mean, for reference, like what I discovered from researching, yeah. it has grown like since the PWHPA came to be yeah the salary cap in the now phf yeah formerly nwhl went from being 150,000 for the team to 1.5 million for yeah. next year it's an almost it's a 1000 percent growth yeah it's crazy that is insane like yeah. you guys put your foot on their throat and my god you did not let up like what incredible progress you made yeah for sure it's so it's amazing like i literally yeah. could bring a tear to my eye just thinking about the fact that like you can genuinely with with 1.5 million dollar salary cap obviously it's not the 40 million that the fn nhl teams get yeah. however you can absolutely live on that it's a yeah. damn good salary if you're yeah. making you know six figures 80 yeah 100%. like that's phenomenal and i saw um your new teammate that she had like the highest yeah. uh recorded like salary in history for next year 150,000 a hundred percent that's mm -hmm. just amazing amazing so for her. yeah i'm just like i'm so proud of you and i and uh, i hope you us. recognize yeah sorry you <laughs> and an ex as an extension of um of, of everybody yeah. that was involved um but it was I, I hope you realize like what a huge thing that was for women's hockey in north america yeah 